Hello, so I'm going to show you one of the different options that you have when you're trying to provide students feedback and comments. If they have created something in Google Docs, slides, sheets, or even a Google drawing. So the first thing you need to do is open up the students Google drawing doc slide or uh, sheet, and you don't necessarily need to have editing access to it. You don't have to have editing access to be able to add comments. Um, unless the student has configured the settings on the Google resource differently, you should be able to use this and add comments. So I have one pulled up here. Um, to add a comment, you have a couple different ways you can do this. So if I want to add a comment here, I can highlight the section where I want my comment to show up, or I can just leave my cursor there. If I highlight it, I can add a comment either by clicking this little comment button here at the right, there is a comment button here at the top toolbar, or I can go to the insert menu, and there's comment there, or I can use the, short, the keyboard shortcut, which is Control Alt M. So I'm just gonna start here. All right, if you notice, it does highlight where you're putting in that comment. If you don't add the comment, then it goes away, but it does keep it highlighted. If you have multiple people working in a document, it highlights the comments in different colors. So you can kind of distinguish who's who and who said what. But I will add my comment here. Whenever I'm finished, I can do comment. Just so you know, if you are using a link, maybe I have a link to an outside website. Let's go with this learning. Um, I can add those in my comments. It doesn't look like a link yet, but once I comment it, it actually shows up as one, so I can click and go there. This is helpful if you're wanting to show students additional resources and have them reference something to fix or make some adjustments here before they move on to the next step. So as the student, what they see is your comment up here to the side. It shows up highlighted in a different color, and they have some options here. I, If I'm the student, I can click this comment. I can reply. I can have a whole conversation here with my teacher to get more clarification on what the expectations are, what they'd like me to work on. Um, I can resolve this comment, which means that this comment is accepted, it's removed, and the whole discussion is hidden. As the person who made this original comment, I can always edit or delete my comment too if I need to. If I grab the link to my comment and send that to a student, then it takes them specifically to this message if there's a whole bunch of them. So that is how you add comments.